Hey, welcome back to the channel. So one of the questions that I most frequently get asked is if someone should get a Chromebook or a Windows laptop. So that is what we're gonna be talking about today. Now it's not gonna be possible for me to cover every single scenario in this video, but I will cover some key things that will help in making your decision. The below information is all based on my personal experience after 20 years in the IT industry and using both Chromebooks and Windows machines. Okay, so jumping into this, the first and most important thing that you need to ask is what you want to do with your computer. There are certain things that will take either Windows or Chrome OS out of the running completely and make your decision making much easier. For instance, if your primary focus is gaming, multimedia production, or you need to run specific Windows applications, then Chromebooks are not the way to go for you. On the other hand, if you want something that's almost instantly on, great battery life and affordable, then most Chromebooks will fit that bill better than Windows laptops. Now I say most because there are some very expensive Chromebooks and highly spec Chromebooks that are available out there. I'll talk a little bit about that more uh, later in the video. Now I wanna talk a little bit about some misconceptions for both Chrome OS and Windows. I'm gonna start with Chromebooks here and one misconception is that Chromebooks can only be used online. That is just not the case. Many, many Chrome applications, including Google Docs, can be used offline and then when you're online, everything gets synced up to that online version. Another misconception is that Chromebooks can only run web-based applications and that's not true either. Most recent Chromebooks can run Android applications very, very well and have almost full access to the Google Play Store. And in addition, most recent Chromebooks will also support native Linux applications and that support is getting better in every single version of Chrome OS. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the misconceptions of Microsoft Windows and a lot of these are things that used to be true that just aren't true anymore and people just keep believing them. One big misconception is that if you use Windows, you're going to get a virus. I've used Windows for most of my life and I have only gotten a virus once and it was on like Windows 98. The antivirus protection built into Windows is very good these days and you're very unlikely to get a virus with average use. Of course, what you download, what sites you visit and what you do on your computer may increase the chances of getting a virus, but that's true on any operating system, yes, including Chrome OS. Another big misconception is that Windows will just shut down right in the middle of using your application and apply updates with no warning. Regardless of what the Chromebook ads may lead you to believe, that's not true either you actually have pretty good control over how updates are applied, when they're applied, and what updates are applied in Windows. The only time I've seen an update forcefully shut down my machine in the middle of what I'm doing is when updates were forced by the IT department on my work computer. Using my home computer, I don't think that's ever happened to me, at least not in recent years. Okay, so let's talk about some pros and cons of both Windows and Chrome OS. I'm gonna start with Chrome OS. And one of the pros is that Chromebooks are typically very affordable, although there are some very expensive ones out there if you want that higher end hardware. They're designed to be light, fast, and have excellent battery life for the most part. The operating system is very light on resource, so it'll run much better on lower end hardware than Windows typically will. Many Chromebooks have a stylus or at least support for a stylus and that makes them great for taking handwritten notes, sketching, things of that nature. And most things are stored in the cloud so that if you have to wipe your machine, you won't lose any of your data. So that's some of the pros of Chromebooks. Now let's talk about some of the cons. And the first one is that there are more limited types of applications that you can run, especially professional or mainstream applications. Uh, the advantages of Chromebooks quickly diminish as the cost of the device goes up, and some very low-end Chromebooks can be made from subpar hardware, even for the price range. The last one is that Chromebooks are tied to your Google account, so you have to have a Google account to fully use a Chromebook. So that's some of the pros and cons for Chromebooks. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons for Windows laptops. We're gonna start with pros. First one is that you can run a much larger range of software. Second one is they have support for more hardware like printers, scanners, things like that. 
Now, this is the opposite of Chromebooks, but at the higher end, the higher the price goes up, the more bang for the buck you're gonna get with a Windows machine than you will with a Chromebook. Now, some of the cons for Windows. Windows is much more resource intensive and requires more expensive hardware to run it well. Because of the hardware differences, many lower end Windows devices will not have as nice hardware like displays and touchpads as Chromebooks will in that price range. They require more power to run, so Windows laptops in the same price range will typically have less battery life than a comparable Chromebook. Windows has the ability to store your data in the cloud, but many things are still saved on the local machine. So if there's a problem with the machine and you have to reinstall Windows, chances are you're probably gonna lose some data. Now, a big thing in decision-making, of course, is price. So we need to talk a little bit about price versus value. At the lower end of the price spectrum, you'll typically get a much better performing computer, often with better hardware, on a Chromebook than you will on Windows. Windows 10 just does not run well on low spec machines and it's not nearly as responsive. Now, as I mentioned before, at the higher end of the price spectrum, that kind of shifts. And for high price devices, the pros of the Chromebook start to significantly diminish and you end up getting more bang for your buck on a Windows device at that higher price point. All right, now I know that was a lot of information, so let's do a quick summary of who the different machines might be good for. If you're a student looking to take notes or someone that wants a fast, responsive computer with great battery life for a reasonable amount of money, then Chromebooks may be worth looking into for your purposes. If you're someone whose primary focus is gaming or you do heavy multimedia production or you have specific Windows applications that you need to run uh, and you're not too concerned with battery life or price, then Windows laptops may be the way to go, uh, especially the price point if you want to run those games or do heavy multimedia, you'll need a little bit more powerful machine. Now, like I said, this is all based off of my personal experience and I would love to know what your opinion is on Chromebooks versus Windows and why you chose one over the other, please leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you found this useful or informative, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by.